repowering your echo equipment with a factory short block is it worth it let's talk about it I installed a new short block on this uh, SRM 280 this morning. Uh, this was the trimmer that was burnt up yesterday in my video and we were doing a throttle cable adjustment. Well, this is the same trimmer and it's now running. Uh, however, is it worth doing a short block to repower or to repair a trimmer rather than buy a new one? So let's break this down. You can get a brand new short block you can get them online they even sell them on amazon for less than a hundred bucks uh, you can get some aftermarket ones that aren't a hundred bucks they're way less than that uh, but you know here is a factory one from amazon for like 94 bucks you can't beat it and if you're gonna put it on yourself you save the labor uh so you got a hundred dollars in a three or four hundred dollar trimmer is it worth it in my opinion absolutely uh, if you have a shop do this, it's go, they're going to charge you an hour, two hours labor. So you add, you know, tack on another hundred. So you have 200 bucks into a $400 trimmer. You're still money ahead. You can uh, basically, you know, you're renewing the heart of the, the machine, the engine. And, uh, but let's go over a few things that you want to look for uh, that may deter you from doing this. If there's anything other than just the short block, say you have to go through the carburetor or you have to replace the catalytic converter or you know you have a leak in fuel tank or maybe the shaft is bent, things like that. Those, those things add up quick. But if your trimmer is in good shape and all you need to do is install that $94 uh, short block, by all means, tear into it and fix it yourself and save you a ton of money. You know, some of the old schoolers, they'll tell you to mix your gas a little rich for the first tank of gas. You know, just mix it 50 to 1 and just go to town with it. These engines are built so good that they don't need to be broken in. The only thing that you need to do is just run it. I do, however, I let them, uh, I'll rev them up, let them idle for a minute, shut them off. Let them cool off, crank them back up, rev it up a few times, let it idle for a minute, and shut it off. Just to get a couple of heat cycles. And then what I like to do is go down and just make sure all my head bolts are tight, jug bolts, and everything else is good and tight. These old motors, just they just crank so easy. I've got plenty of short blocks to do, so I'll do a short block video in the future, I promise. Anyway, guys, hey, if this helped you out and you got a little bit of information from this video, give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, please click that bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.